Hello everyone, welcome to Nija Education. You are watching part 2 of class 8 chapter resources. Today we are going to discuss on the resources, but which type of a resources? Human made resources. Now what is human made resources that we are going to discuss? Natural resources have limited use in their crude form. So whatever we are getting from the nature, we are getting in a crude form that means in a raw form. Human being using this raw form and converting that raw material into the finished product. But it may or may not satisfy the human needs because human beings are capable of changing a such a natural sources into the useful product. Now human beings are capable of changing the raw material into the finished product. Human beings use natural resources to develop building, road, machinery and vehicle. Human beings use the raw material and they are making buildings, roads, machinery and vehicles. So for making these things they need a raw material and that are available in the nature. So these all are called human made resources. This building, road, machinery and vehicle what are they? They are called human made resources and human beings with the help of their skills and knowledge they are using this raw material and giving us a finished product to satisfy our need. Even a technology, technology is also the example of a human made resources. Now we are using a technology to convert this raw material into the finished product but technology itself also a human made resources. Technology is also made by the human being. So it's all about the human made resources. Now we will talk about the human resources. What is a human resources? The greatest resource on the earth is human resources. Why? Because if human resources is not available to us, then we are unable to uh, access or acquire this human made resources. So the important resources on the earth is a human himself. Why? Because if they are not using their skill and knowledge, we are unable to get uh, some finished product which we have already seen in the human made resources. Whatever thing we are using to satisfy our need, that all comes from where because of the human being knowledge and skill only, we are getting these resources. They are capable of making the best use of our resources through their skill and knowledge. So, if any country want to do progress in their particular country, in their country, so what they have to do? They have to must take care of our education and national resources which are available in their country. Education and a good health have helped a human being to become a valuable resources. Now how human being become a valuable resources? Through education only. If they, they are educated then only they are helpful to make a finished product. And even a good health. Good health of the human being is also very valuable resources. If any country want to progress, they have to take care of education and natural resources. Now we will talk about the conservation of resources. In early times, the density of a population was very low. So the needs of a human being were limited. They were fully dependent on the plants and animals which are easily available in the environment. So they never failed for the conservation of the resources because they are, they are satisfying their needs very easily and they are mostly dependent on the plants and animals which are available in the environment. So they never fail about the conservation of the resources. What do you mean by the conservation of the resources? Conservation means we have to use the resources in a limited way only to satisfy our needs. Matlab, we should use the resources ko use karna chahiye, taake in future it will not exhaust. Mostly the non-renewable resources are exhausted by their excessive use. So conservation means we have to uh, take care of the resources and we have to use the resources very carefully. So we will talk about the conservation of the resources. Now earlier there is a, they never failed about the need for the conservation of the resources but with the scientific and the technological progress human beings started using resources as a, at a much larger scale. Means just as scientific and um, technological ka progress, human needs have increased. 
human need increases now this the continuous rise in the population also caused an increasing demand for the resources now on the other hand we we can see that the population is increasing day by day so because of the, this increasing population they are demanding for the more resources the, so demand for the resources also in, increase now this created the situation in which the non renewable resources could be exhausted in a short time means अगर पॉपुलेशन ऐसे ही बढ़ती जाएगी तो जो हमारा नॉन रिन्यूएबल रिसोर्सेज जो अवेलेबल है हमें वो बहुत ही जल्द खत्म हो जाएगी सो दैर फॉर अ बैलेंस बिटवीन द पॉपुलेशन ग्रोथ एंड द यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ द रिसोर्सेज इज एब्सोल्यूटली नेसेसरी सो हमें बैलेंस रखना पड़ेगा बिटवीन हुम बिटवीन द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ द कंट्री एंड बिटवीन द यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ द रिसोर्सेज वी हैव टू मेक अ बैलेंस अमोंग दिस टू थिंग्स सो देन ओनली वी कैन प्रिजर्व अ कंजर्व अवर रिसोर्सेज नाउ यूजिंग नेचुरल रिसोर्सेज केयरफुली विदाउट वेस्टिंग दैम इज कॉल कंजर्वेशन ऑफ रिसोर्सेज Conserv what do you mean by the conservation of resources what is the definition of the conservation of resources that using a natural resources carefully without wasting them is called conservation of resources now when we use the natural resources properly for today's need and also conserve them for the future generation it is called sustainable development the use of our resources will be sustainable when you can say that is that it is a sustainable development when you are using the resources at present by uh, carefully and conserve for the future also then it is called sustainable development when we use the natural resources properly for today's need and also conserve them for the future generation it's called sustainable development the use of our resources will be sustainable now in the recent time a lot of awareness about the preservation and conservation of resources and the environment has been created now what do you mean by the preservation and the conservation preservation means to save the resources and conservation means to reduce the use of our resources matlab jitni need hai jitni zaruri hai humne jaise hi dekha carefully using of resources without wasting that is called conservation but what do you mean by the preservation preservation means to save the resources so in the recent time a lot of awareness about the preservation and the conservation of the resources and the environment has been created this is due to the fear of a situation which may arise as a result of a large scale destruction of our natural resources now we awareness of our, for the preservation and the conservation of resources kyu create kiya gaya because agar hum log abhi se iske step nahi lege then our future planet will be in a danger agar hum zyada se zyada resources use karenge then non renewable resources is going to exhaust then hamare needs ko satisfy karne ke liye resources available hi nahi honge so our future is actually dependent upon our ability to maintain and preserve the life support system which nature has provided so thus we need we must need to reduce the damage done to our natural environment hame jo hum jo damage kar rahe to our natural environment that we have to reduce और हमें पॉपुलेशन भी कंट्रोल में करना चाहिए एंड ग्रो मोर ट्रीज इसको हमें फॉलो करना चाहिए हमें ज्यादा से ज्यादा ट्रीज को ग्रो करना चाहिए पॉपुलेशन को कंट्रोल करना चाहिए इसके वजह से ही हमारा जो एनवायरमेंटल है हमारा जो एनवायरमेंट में बैलेंस है वो बना रहेगा सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट योर फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ अ जोग्राफी दैट इज रिसोर्सेज फॉर मोर एजुकेशनल वीडियो प्लीज सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल नीजो एजुकेशन एंड डोंट फॉर्गेट टू प्रेस बेल लाइकन